Day, I'm, I'm not being cooped up in the house for people. You know, I'll, I'll be in the house for myself. Not even for no coronavirus. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. When coronavirus first came to New York, let me put it that way. I'm going to say to New York, not to the States, to New York, right? And I am. Um, was going out when I first started. I was going out. We had my bands. They wasn't shutting people down. You know, they wasn't so keen on the masks and stuff. They was just telling people where they met. And, you know, people was wearing it. People wasn't wearing it. I was wearing it. I didn't go out without a mask. From the beginning to the end. As you see, I still got my mask on. Oh, excuse me. So now, with that being said, I got sick, right? I ain't tell nobody. Me and Michelle. Michelle told me. But I noticed it, that I was having this deep pressure inside my chest, right? Oh my goodness. I, I wasn't to a point where I couldn't breathe. I didn't get that, it didn't get that bad. But it did get to where it was hurting. I went through different stages. And I'm not saying I got no coronavirus. If I got it, you know I thank God, right? But my doctor put me on vitamin Ds way long before coronavirus set foot in Wacom, whatever you want to call that state. So thank God I had some vitamin Ds up in here in, in me, vitamin C up in me. I had all that going on already, right? So, I, um, uh, <laughs> no, I got distracted. So, I'm just going to tell it like it is. And if whoever hear this video, they think that I got, I had it, that's their business. They can think whatever they want to think. So, anyway, I got, I was having pressure in my chest. That's it. It was doing pressure. And in my back, right? And my sister, at that time, my sister was alive. And she was talking about depression, her back, right? Her back was hurting, it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I was like, she told me about the magic topper that she had gotten for me to go get it and et cetera. So I bought it, right? And not to lie, it did help, but you know, some orphan on my back would hurt. I took it, which I'm seeing that that most likely what it was that I was carrying a whole lot of bags on my back and putting a lot of pressure on my back. So I don't do that no more. So I ain't have no more pain. But anyway, so now I'm still going. I'm still going. So I got real sick. I ain't tell nobody in the house. I was in my room. I was sniffing. My nose was stopped up. And, and I've never experienced a stopped up nose like that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me take that back. I did experience it back, back in the days. So when I got it, I was like, here I am, I'm getting the flu. So I wasn't coughing. I wasn't doing a lot of sneezing. It's just that my nose was stopped up. I mean, really stopped up. I mean, to the point where I couldn't breathe. It felt like I couldn't breathe out of both nostrils. You know, when it's normally that one nose helps the other one. You see what I'm saying? Just like one, your strong eye help your weak eye. You know, the body helps the other. You know, when one, when one instrument is down, the other instrument get more keen to help it out. So that's normally how it is with a nose. You know, your nose, you stop up on one side, but you can at least breathe through through one the other nostrils if it get bad when you can't breathe out both nostrils then you got your mouth right but it was so that i was having these issues right 
I ain't thinking nothing. I was not thinking nothing. I just had my faith in God, praying, Lord, take me through this, take me through this, help me to go through this. My bus coming. So I'm going to have to continue this story. Well, to just give a throw out, I didn't have the coronavirus. I guess you say, how you know? If I did, my body went and grew up antibiotics against it and fought it. So every time it popped back up, if it popped back up, my body fought against it. All right, I'll hit you.